Hello and welcome to this session of Talking Tech, women and girls in ICT. My name is Clemence and today I am delighted to be having a discussion about tech and tech careers with Jane Morell, artist and researcher, CEO and Art in Space, in collaboration with tech artist Paul Marlier. Both are working with space agencies, especially ESA ECNES, to create artwork, education and engineering in microgravity. Talking Tech is a series celebrating girls and women in tech. It's being recorded around the world between Girls in ICT Day 2020 and Girls in ICT Day 2022. Girls in ICT Day is an international day marked of the fourth Thursday of each April. The objective is to help create a global environment that encourages young women to consider studies and careers in the field of ICT, information and communication technologies. Hi Jen and thank you for joining me today. Uh, can you tell me about uh, you and your job please? My name is Jeanne and I'm an artist, dancer and researcher and I work uh, with new technology uh, since 2015, especially with the tech artist and architect Paul Marlier. Uh, we are working in extreme environments and in weightlessness. We make uh, art, education and engineering um, to, to take this necessary step back on reality and to offer a shelter, um, a way to think for people. We would like to offer a way to, to move forward together wherever we are. And um, we are working with biometrics data, so my data, um, and we are taking this uh, um, this, this data to, to make art, education and engineering and to help people. When and how did you get into technology? I started working with new technologies in 2015 when I met Paul Marlier. Um, he was living in Asia so he was working with new tech, generative art, digital arts and f for me it was, uh, it was really new in, in my work but um, I, I saw it as a way to get wings, wings to perpetuate dance, um, to give it a form, a sensitive form, um, like other art, to paralyze it, but also a way to, um, to link humanity and um, to give a chance to everybody, to let no one behind. Thanks to technology, uh, communication is open to, to everybody around the world. And um, I think it's, it's very important for all the young girls to study, to, to learn, to be aware. But also for, for my part, it's a possibility to work and to dance with disabled people. So those wings that um, I have met, uh, I would like to offer them to to other people, and especially uh, the people who can't dance. And how about you, Clémence? Uh, what is your background, your studies, and what is your dream? What do you want to do when you will be older? Bah, je suis en cinquième, euh, et puis on apprend toujours au collège l'importance de la science, mais euh, on nous explique pas vraiment. Plus tard, je voudrais devenir architecte euh, et surtout utiliser les nouvelles technologies. Parce que euh, être architecte, c'est pas juste mettre des meubles dans une maison, euh, c'est vraiment contribuer euh, à, à la, fin, si je peux dire, à la vie. Je fais énormément de modélisation 3D sur l'ordinateur et donc ça contribue aussi les nouvelles technologies parce que, enfin, dans un travail d'architecte, euh, on les utilise forcément, mais avant, on faisait juste un dessin sur une feuille de papier, et on disait débrouillez-vous, alors que là, on les utilise vraiment pour nous aider et c'est ça qui est bien. Have you always dreamed of working with new technology or did it happen by chance? I think it happened more uh, with meetings. Um, the meeting with Paul Marlier uh, to, to learn uh, technologies, but also the meeting with astronauts, um, with the agencies, uh, the CNES in France, the ESA, European Space Agency, also DLR and also NASA. Um, all these meetings changed my, my way of of seeing the world with technology and, and they, they told me that as a woman I can, I also can work um, and I can um, tell my, um, my language, my art to everybody. What do you like best about uh, your job with technology? 
uh, for me, the most important thing with technologies is to to build something together and um, to have a link between people all or all uh, around the world. And if I speak about art, I have the feeling that technology can also be a print of all humanity. The first artwork is a handprint on a on a wall. And today, with tech, we can, for example, uh, archive my data and make artworks. So it's a way to give um, a trace, uh, a draw of all humanity. Do you think it's important for your generation to work with tech? C'est important parce que on est quand même en 2022 et les progrès ils avancent énormément et on a des nouvelles technologies, autant les exploiter, euh, on a les ordinateurs. Euh. Avec les nouvelles technologies, on pourra faire des situations d'urgence et calculer ce qui se pourrait se passer. Et donc utiliser les bons matériaux, faire, euh, faire des, des bâtiments plus solides. Les nouvelles technologies vont, vont vraiment nous aider. Do you think uh, new technology is compatible with ecology and humanisme? Um, I think Everything with technology, with social networks, with modernism um, can be used in a good or a bad way. And I really want to, to use new technology as a friend. And I think that we have to use it as a friend to grow together. Um, of course, it, it can help humanity. Every human on Earth, especially people who are living in a in countries where it's, it's quite difficult to, to live. But now we are in a space agency, the French space agency, and I also think that it could help planet Earth. Um, all the satellites and uh, the um, astrophysical science is helping our planet and our ecology. So yes, it could be a friend of ecology today. What are your experiences with new technology that you are most proud of? Two projects that I'm proud of today, um, more than others. Uh, the first one is to um, dance and to create artworks with disabled people. Because when I dance in microgravity, for example, we are taking all my biometrics data and we are creating artworks um, with brain or uh, with a capture of, um, of just, just of one hand, and we can draw and we can dance with just one part of our body. And after, it's um, a painting, an artwork. So it's important for me to give the chance to, to people who can't dance to have a print of their dance or of their emotions when they think about dance. And the second one is, is easier, is smaller. Uh, during the first lockdown, I was dancing on my balcony and my neighbors made a video and other neighbors made another video and other neighbors began to dance. And just with social networks, with new technology, we have created a small shelter, um, a, a hope together. And I think that we don't have to go to space, to be a, an amazing engineer or to dance in microgravity. Just with new technology, we can create hope and um, link and just a small language between humans. It was quite a revelation for me. What's a lesson that you learn along the way and you want to share? For me, as a pluridisciplinary artist and woman, it was a challenge especially in France, um, to fight for, um, for the possibility of learning several, um, several studies. Like, I'm a dancer, but I have also studied philosophy and history of art, and now I'm, I'm working with science, and I think it is possible. It is possible to work in several fields and to make your own tree. And, uh, it was a challenge for me because it's not easy to defend. It's not easy to do when we are a young girl. Today, I really would like to say uh, to every girl in the world to believe in their dream, as you said, Clemence, and also to, to be confident 
and to believe in themselves. And if they want to do several things, if they want to dance and make technologies and make science, it is possible. Um, we have to work a lot, but we can do it. And we can be a pluridisciplinary woman. So, yes, please, they have to believe in their dreams and to move forward. It's really important. Do you think women uh, should be working in tech as much as men do? Bah, je pense qu'en 2022, euh, les femmes ont autant leur place que les hommes et elles pourront apporter un, un nouveau regard aux sciences et on a, on a besoin d'un nouveau regard. Eh bien, avant, euh, c'était très très fermé pour euh, les, les femmes. Il n'y avait que les hommes dans la science. Et oui, maintenant, c'est mixte les sciences. Les femmes ont parfaitement euh, leur place dans les sciences autant que les hommes. Today, we are in the space agency, in the French space agency, and this sky, this universal sky, is um, our common shelter, where all our beliefs, all our praise, fly, whoever we are and wherever we are. So every little girl in this planet have a right to do a career linked with the sky. That's wrap up our session today, uh, women and girl in ICT. Uh, thank you so much, Jane. Uh, I really enjoyed to our chat today. Uh, thank you for viewers for watching, and uh, we're proud to be able to help uh, women and girls to believe in their dreams.